हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू ओ टी टी बस माई नेम इज महालक्ष्मी सिंह और आज हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं एक वेब सीरीज के बारे में जो रिलीज हुई है जी फाइव के प्लेटफॉर्म पर ये वेब सीरीज के बारे में काफी कुछ आपने सुना ही होगा और अगर नहीं सुना तो आज मैं आपके लिए लेकर आई हूं एक डिटेल रिव्यू ऑफ दिस न्यू शो दिस शो इज कॉल्ड द ब्रोकिन न्यूज The story is about a constant fight between what is right and what is wrong in the newsroom. Well, the story has a plotline of adapting to the controversies going on in the news world and how people favor the right and the wrong side of it. If you are wondering what exactly is going on in this series, then this series is focused on two news channels that will be working in the same building located in Mumbai. Both the channels must be following different philosophies and that must cause conflicts among the channels. But after watching the show I shall tell you a lot of things that are not addressed as per the expectations. Even though the show had put on some interesting and important questions in their trailer, in reality they have rarely handled any of the questions. Most of the focus of the show is on officers, agents or gangsters. If I talk about the overall review, I was expecting a lot more to be shown in the show. Anyways, let's move forward to all the other details of the show. This was initially adapted from the series called Press Press was released in 2018 on BBC and was created by Mike Bartlett. This recreation has been directed by Vinay White and has been written by Sambit Mishra. The show contains a total of 8 episodes and each episode is 30 to 40 minutes long. The cast of the Broken News includes Amina Qureshi played by Sonali Bendre, Radha Bhargava played by Shreya Pilgaonkar and Deepankar Sanyal played by Jaydeep Halawat. The other characters include Kiran Kumar, Tarok Rena, Indra Neeli Sen Gupta and Sanjita Bhattacharya In this show two news channels have been shown Josh 247 and Awaaz Bharti News These channels would be the opposing parties in the show The journalists in the show try to balance their life along with the complications going on between these two channels Both channels focus on telling great stories to their audience to gain the most TRP However, one tells the truth and the other believes in making news for the show. But there will be a very interesting turn while you watch the show. Both the news channels with their conflicts turn into a piece of news themselves and that's where the actual fun begins. The show captures your attention starting from the very first episode. Radha and Amina Qureshi would be from the Awaaz Bharti and both of them focus on telling the truth to the audience. This shows how in the era of getting TRPs this channel focuses on telling the truth. Josh 24/7 is managed by Deepankar Sanyal. This channel just focuses on making the news no matter whether it is true or not. If you watch this show, you will come to know how interestingly the show has put on the storyline between two channels and has completely balanced it out. In the entire show, you will see that the director very prominently shows the difference between Awaaz Bharti and Josh 247. As we all believe that in today's world, sharing a shocking truth is not what people want to hear, and that is what you will learn. In a scene while she shares the truth about a story, she must have been trolled by and called a traitor by the entire internet for the season. The plotline of the show shares very tiny and distinctive features which will keep you too involved in the show for a really long time. I personally love the character Radha played by Shreya Pilgaonkar. She has a very confident and strong character who supports the truth no matter what. If you are a fan of Sonali Bendre then you are going to just love how beautifully she is back in the show again. Amina played by Sonali is shown as a soft spoken reporter who is hardly present in today's world. I just loved how Sonali showed up in her character and Jaydeep has even done a very amazing job as a news reporter. If I tell you about the overall performance of the show and the storyline, I would rate it somewhere around 7 out of 10. I like the star cast. However, the entire plotline combined was not up to my expectations. I always expect something more in such kinds of stories that show the actual reality of today's world and a few things in the story that have been missed. but the overall plotline acting and direction of the show is something which will impress you i would love to know your thoughts about the show in the comments below until then do like share and subscribe to the channel see you in the next episode of ott buzz